Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today is day three of the Conjuring Universe series. And we are on the second Conjuring movie, uh, which is fun. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start, just jump right in. And we're gonna start talking about The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2 was released in 2016. It was written by Chad Hayes, Carrie W. Hayes, James Wan, and David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick, which is the longest name I've ever heard, and way too many people writing one project. However, I guess it worked, because it was pretty darn good. No spoilers, but essentially, what happens in this movie is we it's set in, like, Britain, and what happens is the British people get scared because they're being possessed by this demon and so they call the Warrens in and they come in and they try to fix it. This is also where we get the nun. Um, this is where the, the nun really comes into play uh, in terms of, of the, the series as a whole. This is where it starts, steps in, and becomes more of a main character. Uh, Valak is the name. And uh, it's a really good movie. It really is. It's hard to find faults here, but there are some. Uh, and, and namely what that is, is like it's just kind of... A little bit more unrealistic than other movies in the series so far. Like the the girl has this guy talk through her, this this ghost, um, and it's really cool, but it doesn't really make much sense. If I'm being completely honest, and also, so this is based on a true story, right? Um, but recently, the person that was actually possessed has said that she has faked a lot of the events. So. I'm inclined to believe that she actually faked all of them. This movie's just fake. Oh, well, the movie's real, but like the thing that the movie's based off of is probably not true. Uh, but it was a cool concept. I liked it. I liked. I liked. This is the first time they finally had a good spirit in the movie, and and a good spirit in a lot of horror movies. To be honest with you, but what I like the most about it is that it really brought us down to earth, right? Because the old man isn't a bad spirit. He just looks like he's a bad spirit, right? Which is good because not all ghosts are bad, which they talk about later on in the series. Um, but in this one, it first brings up the concept, like, maybe not all ghosts are bad. And later on, they expand on that. And hopefully they will continue to expand on that in their movies because I think it's a cool idea. And not a whole lot of horror people are doing it. So it's actually a pretty good time to consider doing it. So hopefully we'll see that they, they kick in some high gear and uh, they, they do that. But I don't know for sure. So we'll see. But... This movie's really fun. I like the characters. I like the British accents. They're really nice. I don't know how many of them were real. I don't know how many of them were fake, but they were good. Um, I liked having the nun here. The nun's really freaking creepy. Um, so they, they did really well with, with uh, including that here. Let's talk about some of the acting and the performances here. Starting with Patrick Wilson as Ed Warren. Uh, again, super great. And even better this one is he's to sing. And I love his voice. Um, and he's played the guitar. And, and it feels like a family movie with them, right? With, with, with the Wilsons here. Because you also have Vera Farminga again as Lorraine Will Warren. And they feel like a huge family. Right? The Warrens come in, they're helping, and all that stuff. And it's really fun. It really is fun. I liked it a lot. We have Madison Wolf as Janet Hogson. And she's the little possessed girl that can like speak like, through the, 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 the voice and speak through her or whatever. Uh, she's good. Uh, she's a child, so it was fine. Um, I think she did okay. I think that probably could have found a better person, if I'm being completely honest with you, but uh, for the job that was done, it was, it was pretty good. Frances O'Connor as Peggy Hodson. She was really good. I was actually really impressed with her work here. Um, she does really well at like being a parent and, and working in this environment. It really worked really well. And one thing that I also want to talk about that worked really well in this, in, in this movie is just the levels of surprises, right? And that's something that I've come recently to expect from the Conjure movies, is the ending will be kind of surprising. And I, I'm not going to talk about the ending, but essentially, one of the cool things that happens is one of the things that we think is bad is not. And also there's that balance here of, like, they don't really know if she's telling the truth. She could be lying about this whole thing, and, like, this whole thing could be worth nothing. Because, you know, Lorraine Warren isn't feeling anything. She's like, I'm not feeling a demonic presence. But the girl's like, but there is one. And like, then they have to go around believing or disbelieving, all that kind of stuff. And I believe the whole nun thing was completely fake um, in terms of the movie just made it up because I needed an ending, um, which works for me because it's really cool and creepy. But I don't know how much of it's true. I don't know how much of it's not true. I don't even think anyone knows. 
But uh, I think it was interesting that they tried to balance that feeling of, like, is she telling the truth? That's the first time we've seen it in this movie. It's the first time we've seen it really in a long time for a lot of horror movies. Uh, so I'm excited they brought that back. But overall, it's a really solid movie and a really solid second part of, of the trilogy so far and the third part of the Conjuring universe. Uh, this movie could have made or break the whole series, in my opinion. If this movie was bad, they might not have made another one, and they did because it's really, really good. And I'm going to go ahead and give The Conjuring 2 an A. That's going to do for me today. If you guys like The Conjuring series and all that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. I've got one coming out every single day until The Devil Made Me Do It, which is on a Friday, which I will also be watching on Friday, probably Friday morning. depends on uh, how my dice are rolled. But uh, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, again, please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing the video, all that kind of jazz. And as always, keep watching movies and television, stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.